Airlines already preemptively canceling hundreds of flights. Amtrak canceling some train service. There's even talk of shutting down America's largest subway system in New York City. So let's get it right back out now to Sam. Sam, I got to ask you, what would you say to people who think to themselves, Hurricane Irene really wasn't that bad last year, so I'm not going to worry this time? Yeah, Dan, uh, you remember we were right over here, not too far away from where we were standing right here as Hurricane Irene came up the coastline. And the thing about Hurricane Irene was we got to remember it was a very bad storm. It brought a lot of rain and a lot of flooding to inland areas. It didn't do the coastal damage. So if you look at all the problems that you can have with this, with this system, coastal damage is just one. Then you have rain, then you have wind, then you have flooding, and the flooding is from coastal and from that inland rain. And in this case, you have snow as well. So you've got that five points. And maybe Maybe one point was not as bad in, in uh, Irene in, in the biggest part uh, of New York, but I'll tell you in the biggest population center of New York, but that was a bad storm for a lot of folks. So what I would tell them is to be prepared for this storm to have a stronger coastal effects and all the other effects that Irene brought with it. And it may even be more wind and more rain if these forecasters are right this morning.